Simnico Zabinissa says Alistair Coetzee's decision not to recall Ruan Combrink shows his inability to make sensible left field calls. One blustery night in 2004 in Gosford, a tiny Australian town north of Sydney, former Springbok coach Jake White held court over drinks with the South African media on all things rugby. It was a most informative and at times odd session, he did claim centre De Wet Barry was the country's best fetcher at one stage, when Ba coaches and rugby hacks could still have informal chats. The one topic he particularly warmed to was selection, which is considered the second best gift, after building teams from the ashes. White shared such theories as the late Kitch Christie's belief that the first two names on your team are the tight head and the reserve tight head, and his own about the best players not necessarily making up the best teams. What he may have left out was how crucial left field selections are for an international coach. These gut feel selections are those inspired coaches calls which leave the rest of us wondering if he's lost his marbles but somehow work. This is the kind of selection that almost runs parallel to whether a player has enough experience or is in form, it's a sixth sense that the white-hot cauldron of test rugby might bring out the best in him regardless of how much he's played or if he looks sharp or not. While he may have invested in some questionable ideas himself, he flirted with the thought he could get by with Jacob van der Thyssen at fly half, and without Victor Matfield at luck, White had some pearlers. How many people would have brought back the exiled Percy Montgomery and Oz Durant, then on a comeback trail from retirement, like he did in 2004 White's best call at that time was probably Joe van Niekerk, who was always injured during Super Rugby, and hardly played for the Stormers. Yet not only did he always made the Bach team, he actually cooked in the Tri-Nations. Looking at Bach coach Alistair Coetzee's most recent attempts to quell the debate that won't die down, why Ruin Combrink can't get a game for the box, when even Hander Pollard can, one can only come to the conclusion that he hasn't got the ability to make left field calls that make sense. Coetzee's explanation was that Combrink didn't play much for the Lions and hadn't started any of his games for his Japanese club. Also Red Ruin must keep performing, Coetzee the obvious counter to that is Pollard, having had knee, shoulder, and ankle surgery in the last two seasons, had played just a handful of games for the Bulls, and looked distinctly out of sorts. His selection gave the impression all he had to do to play for the box was fall out of his hospital bed. Coetzee then said Pollard had shown the necessary sharpness in the box camp. I fear is so disproved by his one-off performance against the All Blacks he is now lucky to catch a Curry Cup game with the Bulls off the bench. Forget the rumblings about Pollard's SA rugby contract dictating that he not play Curry Cup rugby, if this was Coetzee's left field selection then he failed the test miserably. What makes these calls work is the coach's ability to see something the rest of us don't in a player. But Pollard's 20 minutes against the All Blacks not only left us none the wiser, it did little to help him crack the knot for a struggling bullside. Unfortunately, Coetzee has a history of not exactly dazzling with his inspired selections. You have to remember this is the man who brought back the monochrome Mornstein and played the lumbering Willem Alberts at open side flank in reaction to the box horrendous season last year. Ironically, if ever there was a left field call to be made it would be to pick Hombrink. I don't know him from a bar of soap, but he has a reputation for marching to his own beat and being difficult to manage if he hasn't bought into a coach or his systems. Man managing that situation would go some way towards suggesting Coetzee can go the path last revolt when it comes to selection. Photo Ashley Vlotman Gallo images the Springbok coaching team, as well as the players must be held accountable for the worst test performance in South African rugby history, writes John Cardinelli. The Bulls' reluctance to utilize their released spring box this past week again highlights the need for South African rugby to remodel its contracting system, writes Craig Lewis. A successful 2023 World Cup bid would force SA Rugby to address its structural flaws and ultimately boost the spring box performance over the next six years, writes John Cardinelli.